Hey you guys! So I did a live in the Baby Dream Backdrops group um, the other day and I showed a flower thing that I had my husband make. I don't really know what to call it. A flower stem holder? And I showed it to you guys and I had a lot of questions about it. So this is what I'm talking about. And it looks like this. <laughs> So this is actually a four x four that, a piece of scrap four x four that I had in my backyard from some construction. And I looked at it one day and I thought, you know, I think if Eric drills holes in it, I can put stems in it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So you know how you can buy floral stems at Hobby Lobby or greenery, whatever. Well, I made him drill the holes in it like this so that I can stick the stems in the top of it. And I'm going to show you a little bit closer right now what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is the four by four. And I wanted to use a four by four because I thought that the squareness of it would keep it more stable. And so I had him put um, drill holes in it the size of an average stem. Now I could go bigger than this and honestly I could have him do bigger holes like that but this works for me now and you know actually now that I'm thinking about it I might have him drill or I can drill larger holes like this and then I would have the option of either base stem size. This is just some grass that I got at Hobby Lobby and it was really easy for him to do this for me. And so what's cool about being alternate is I can do this if I want a thicker look or I can alternate them like this, different holes. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So then what you can do is, let's say you want to cover that base. It's easy to cover the base with any sort of greenery at the bottom. And I'm gonna show you a photo of that. So that's what I mean whenever I say to cover the base. And you could even put moss on the front of this. You can just get green garland to put on the front of this. There's a ton of different ways to do that. But this is seriously so cheap. Um, you can probably, I mean, I used scrap that I had. And it's just, it's just awesome and it just adds a little bit to your images and it lets you utilize your foreground and not have to worry about it knocking over or anything like that. This stays very stable. So I hope this little random video um, answered some of your questions that you had. If it didn't, that's okay. Um, drop your questions below and I try really hard to answer everything that you guys ask um, in the video. So I hope you got something out of this, at least an idea um, of this video. So thanks and I'll see you next time.